All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. Um, we're trying to Tinker's Cube Draft, but first I wanted to real quick remind everyone that my set reviews are up. They are live on YouTube. Go watch them. Every card, every color, constructed, limited, hours and hours set reviews. Um, go check that out. And then next week is the early access event uh, on Wednesday. I'll be on all day, the 10 to 12 hour stream, my usual 10 new brews. Those that don't know, I do 10 new brews. I build 10 new decks with, my, with the new set. And uh, I stream all of them. All the videos go up on YouTube. My article next Friday on CoolStuffInc.com will be all about all 10 brews, prospects, that I like them, what was good, what has potential for the future, and so on and so forth. And uh, check it out, of course. T 10 new brews. That'll be uh, next Wednesday. And, of course, uh, the article on Friday. Check it out. I'm pumped. You should be too. I'll check out my article on CoolStuffInc.com today. My love hates for Call Dime. Check it out. But right now we got some stuff to do. We're going to play a little standard, play a little, a little historic later. I want to try out this Tinkerer's Cube. And uh, in Tinkerer's Cube, raw power is not enough to succeed. These cards are interlocking pots that will do far more together than on their own. What are the right gears and widgets for your deck? If you combine the right pieces, you can create an incredible invention. See the full list of cards? Eh, not doing that. We're going in, we're going in blind. We're going in blind. So I had not seen this cube before, and we're just going to jump right in and see what happens. Um, cube drafting across the universe. On the Starship Enterprise, run by Captain Kirk. No! What? For Storm? What? There's no Storm cards in the cube. What are you talking about? This is Arena Magic Online. So, um, yeah, we're going to do a little, little cube draft. We're going to play a little bit of Standard. We're going to play uh, Zabacus, a uh, fellow content creator. She's in the uh, the VML. And she played a really, really cool deck in the VML two weeks ago. Those are the VMLs, the VS Mercury League, which Nicole helps to run and commentates for. Super cool deck in standard. Then we're doing a freshly brewed uh, in a storic. I brewed up a cool looking four color elementals deck. A little pumped to uh, try that one out as well. But table is ready except for seat eight. Seat eight. Please get to your seat. Where are they? Person in seat eight. Where are they? Anyone? Anyone out there in seat eight? No? Seat eight? Just not, just not, just not going to be there. <sighs> That's a resub. 2000. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. There it is! Podcast Rob, thanks for coming in. Alright, so Tinkerer's Cube. I imagine Field of the Dead is as dumb as it is in every other format, so we're probably going to start there. Stream event. What's up, Meg? Thanks to Risa, I appreciate that. So, Star of Extinction is a fun card. Um, Fail Passage is obviously great breeding pool, but, I mean, Field of the Dead is insanely good in every format. If this is a super dirtily format, too, then, like, you probably want Field of the Dead. So we're going to start there and just be really rude and mean and not very nice about anything. And then we'll move this chat over to here. I gotta make my new scenes and stuff. Feel of that, come on down. Let's go. Everyone loves Feel of that, right? Raise your hand in chat if you love Feel of the Dead. Raise your hand in chat. So now we need lots of lands and lots of colors. I'm sure there are plenty of spell lands to give us tons of unique land names. We wanna ramp, we wanna kill stuff, we wanna be super, super rude. Um, none of these cards really do that, though. Um, we have a lot of synergy cards here. We have a graveyard synergy card. We have, you know, token synergies and spell synergies and card draw synergies. Uh, but none of these cards are really great, like, control-y cards. I guess the Hedron's fine. It's just a land with a unique name. It can also ramp. We're probably going to be green. I'm sure I'll be ramping and stuff, too. So, um, yeah, sure. The Hedron's fine. None of these cards are super impressive. Hazard's pretty busted, but Hazard and Field of the Dead are not really uh, congruent first picks. So... Of course there's a lot of synergy cards. It's supposed to be a synergy cube. Come on. Jim, what are you doing? Edge on me. Timer calls the dead Chandra double vision. Let me cast your first instant spell with and copy it. Okay. Lanar Visionary is pretty great. Unbreakable Bond, the lifelink reanimation spell. It's kind of cool. Fire Prophecy is fine. Um, the Visionary seems great. Just like a really solid card. Field and lands. Synergy. Is Golos in the cube? Probably. That's a pretty fun synergy card. Uh, yeah. Our promise, probably. Maybe. I, I have no idea. I have no idea it's in this cube. This is fun. I like going in going in blind. It's more fun. Just gotta think, think on the fly. Think on the fly. Three minute Chandra is pretty cool. I also like Chandra Aqua to Flame a lot. I played that card in a number of decks. Alright. Um... Next up, we have some Planeswalkers in Kismina, Enigmatic Mentor, and David. A Terrarian, um, 
Cavu Titan, but better. Any boomers in chat remember Cavu Titan? We also have a, a Blood Crypt and a Nyx Fleece Ram. Um, I mean, we definitely want to play a lot of colors, probably. Meyer Triton, not very exciting. Um, Caspian is, like, okay. It's not great. The Ram's, like, okay if we're white. Um, I could just take Blood Crypt. There'll probably be a lot of colors, honestly. I guess, like... Just playing field and removal spells isn't really going to work because, like, there aren't actually that many kill spells. It's all, like, synergy cards, but just take Blood Crypt. Uh, Finale of Glory. Make a bunch of tokens. Okay. Castle of Antris, Karn's Bastion. Karn's in his Bastion right now. Sailor of Means, Reclamation Sage, Guardian Idol, um, Black Bloom Rogue, Baleful Amet. Apparently, this is a pretty fun, fun assortment of card here. Um, I mean, obviously flip lands are good. This card's not, like, particularly great in general, but it's definitely, um, flip lands are obviously very good for our Field of the Dead because they all have unique names. Um, Finale of Glory is certainly a reasonable, like, ramp payoff, but it is kind of pricey. Sailor of Means is, like, okay. Um, Rex Age is definitely fine. I mean, obviously it's a very, like, cutesy cube with lots of cutesy artifacts and enchantments, so Rex Age seems pretty good. Um, Idol's also fine. But not really, like, we want land ramp, not, like, artifact ramp. I'll take Rex Age. Play it safe here. Um, Leafkin Druid. Wave Break Hippocamp. Horse Fish. Uh, Sir and Laura, the disconcerting. Let's like draw a card. This is the kind of, like, card we're looking for, honestly, as far as, like, just, like, raw power. It's a pretty solid card advantage card. Piper of the Swarm. Make some rats. Leafkin Druid is obviously fine. I mean, we need to be more colors so our field of it actually works. We can't play like 10 forests in our deck, obviously. Um, I guess we're taking the Leafkin. I mean, I guess. Fury is like not super exciting. We're very green. We're definitely very green. Migration Path is pretty cool. There's some lands here I want. I mean, Garenbrig, Overgrown Tomb, and Scatter Groves are all lands I would like. Branching Evolution, the amount of for enchantment, whatever. That's like the uh, hardened scales. I mean, Migration Path works. It works for me. Wait, there'll be more duels. Dragon Master Outcast is cool. It's a cool ramp payoff. One drop, upkeep. You make a 5 5, you have lands. Um, we also have Lord of Extinction. This card's on Arena. I didn't know that. Momentous Fall, Bloom Hulk, Master Splash. There's some decent, like, like on rate cards here. Patch of the Valent on the Battlefield. Uh, counter on each creature control. The counter on it. Okay, I didn't even know that card existed. So it's like Outcast or Lord of Extinction. I don't think Lord of Extinction is very good. If we had taken the Kazul's Fury, then Lord's pretty exciting, but I think Outcast is pretty good here. This is a good ramp payoff. Um, Azani the Thousand Eyed. This is for creatures in the graveyard. Uh, passage. I mean, Breeding Pool. Breeding Pool, like, Passage is only is just a basic. And we don't have too many basics. And, like, it is a double trigger for field. But um, I might just want Breeding Pool instead. Passage Wheeling is pretty weird. Like, every deck would play this card. So I guess we'll take the Passage. Temple of Silence. And some uh, some white and blue cards. Divine Visitation. Uh, definitely a very on-theme card. Ominous Seas is, like... I mean, it's a card you can put in your deck. It's a thing. Let's take Devil of Silence, though. I want all the colors. Fire Prophecy. Uh, there are probably, like, big, dumb cycling cards, right? Like, they're cycling a 6-6, six, six, and then bring back to Life Linker is kind of cool. Fire Prophecy is fine, too, though. It's pretty, we, we, know, we know we're red, I think. I think we're definitely red-green, so... Terrarian, Splendor Mare. Nah, not really pumped about any of these cards. This is, like, a fine blocker and just, like, decent to okay creature um i guess field is pretty cool divine visitation that would that would be pretty fun actually i didn't really consider that that's kind of cute but um i mean vantress is like i mean we're not like blue at all you want tether actually just like a decent defensive card and down a will cathartic probably not playing either one of those and then storm tamer probably not playing that either Put that in the sideboard. Dark in the sideboard. We open, uh, what's up, Wild? 
Um, Corrosion Tusker is pretty cool. We, did, we didn't table the reanimation spell, but... Um, Rashimi Attorney's Crafter. Format a Simic 2-3. Enemy cast your first spell each turn. We have a top card of your library. You may cast that playing his mana cost. So it's like, it's like Weirdo Cascade. It's Cascade or Draw. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, Corrosion Tusker will probably wheel. Um, yeah, this card seems really fun, too. I like it. Rashimi? Rashmi? Yeah. I'm mildly dyslexic, so I always just make, mix up letters and stuff. Um, yeah, sure. This card seems fun. It's a fun ramp card. Calyx. This card gets a lot better uh, with, with uh, the new set, which is kind of fun. Explore? I'm, I'm, all, I'm Explore all day here. I do actually like Eldritch Reborn a lot. This is the kind of like real like raw value card we're looking for. It's like the, the card that's just good on rate. Uh, but Explore seems like the most important card for us, for sure. Um, yeah, just have to, I'm definitely going to explore here. I would love for Temple Garden, Temple of Malady, Elite Guard Mage, or Eldritch Reborn to table. Okay. Uh, oh, I've already locked it on. Tender Shoot Dryad's kind of cool. That's a good like land payoff. Just have a bunch of lands in play and trigger the uh, City's Blessing and stuff. Murmuring Mystic, The Wanderer. Affectionate in drink. What does Jaya do? Cover red swords to damage to permanent is one hundred plus one. So that's not very good. Uh, tender shoots kind of cool. Just goes super wide. We have each upkeep. This card's like pretty unbeatable and limited armor quickly. Uh, yeah, sure. Sign me up. Sign me up. Definitely don't, don't need to be white here. Um, right now we have like. A bunch of green cards, two good red cards, and one good blue card. And, like, our white cards are kind of just, like, pretty uh, pretty flimsy. Anointed Procession with our Feel of a Dead. Procession also works with Dragon Master Outcast. And that's, like, so, like, silly Mimi. But what do y'all think? Raise your hand if you want to see silly Mimi. Who was that? Will Resub, thanks so much. Procession. Wait, so we, have, we have Tender Shoot and Field of a Dead and Dragon Master Outcast. And none of his other cards are really that good. All right, let's do it. We're in. Hands are raised. I'm here to tinker. Destiny Spinner. I mean... What is this? Mesmerizing Benthid? This is like a decent magic card. Patient Rebuilding. This, is pretty, this card's pretty good. It's like a, it's like a good card on rate. It's obviously a mill card, kind of, but just, like, just draws a lot of cards. Um, I don't know, Othakaya. I mean, Benth is, like, it's not really great. It's actually cute with the, with the procession, but... Watery Grave, I don't know if we're black, or, like... We could just start taking lands, I guess. That is fair. This is double blues. All right, sure, I'll take Watery Grave. Okay. Um, Dawn Treader Elk is a little bit of a mana fixer and a rampy card. Sifter Worm, I love this card. It's like a big dumb idiot. I do like big dumb idiots. Um, informant. Oh, damage letter. Proliferate. Reach to control. Whatever. Quasi duplicate. Grub. So I think it's Dawn Treader or Sifter Worm. I can say we're like a little light on payoffs. Um, Time is like okay, but how many aggressive decks are there? Is all like wacky things. This card's kind of lame. I think Sifter Worm. Okay. Uh. I feel like you're familiar is fine. We have an Enchantress's Presence. This, card, this card's on the, in the Historic or whatever. I didn't know. Path of Discovery. Whenever a creature is in the battlefield, it explores. This is actually hilarious with uh, with Field of the Dead. Um, I'm kind of down with the path. So you just like keep exploring more lands. It's kind of cute. Um, I feel like you're familiar is like fine. All right, we're tinkering. Oh, man, Ardenvale would be pretty good in our deck too, but let's try this. We're doing something here. I'm not sure what we're doing yet, but we're doing something. Uh, Grumgully, Dobin, Hwatli. Hwatli's like fine, honestly. Uh, Awakened Amalgam Power is the number differently. Hey! That's pretty funny. This is like the... It's the Field of a Dead theme card. Because we're like trying to make this do this anyway. Um, I kind of like Hwatli, but this is kind of sweet. This just seems fun. Let's just do this. It's like the same idea as Field. We're probably differently named lands. We need more lands, though. I think Fibblethip is fine. A little fart noises. 
We're almost, like, not red anymore. All right, so Temple of Malady and Elite Guard Mage tabled, but, like, casting... We don't have any black guards. Like, Malady's kind of eh. It is, it is actually... I guess it's a green lamb with a unique name. Yeah, we'll take the, take the thing. And then Sacred Foundry, Temple of Enlightenment. Uh, Temple... I don't know if we're playing white, but Temple seems fine. And then Trusty... I didn't even read this card. 4 mana for a 2 3 comes into play, put a counter on it, return artifact or enchantment card from your graveyard to your end. And we're not probably not playing my card. Exile the two creatures you control, so flicker two of your creatures. It's kind of eh. Whatever. Staggering Insight, Unsummon Barrymore. And kind of that we're playing that, but sure. Elk tabled. Sulfur Falls. That's also fun. Alright, so we're definitely green. Looks like we're splashing white, blue, and maybe red. And we have a bunch of, we have one, two, we have four black lands and no black spells. So that's kind of cool. Um, Emil the Blessed. Four, four unicorn, eight, three, two, three, flickers things, whatever. Heart of the Wilds. And we're going to show you. Uh, I don't know if this card's good or not. It's up thick. The uh, early access event is next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Uh, five, five fire or five of fire is kind of cool. The Ozolith was this revolutionary. It's counters cards. It's a pretty bad pack for us, honestly. Is the card good? I don't think it's going to be good. I think it's too risky. Let's take five of fire. I kick that. Ten new brews next Wednesday. Um. Okay. Another pretty bad pack. I mean, I guess Steam Vents sort of plays. Nothing here is really that exciting. Sure. And we need a bunch of lands of different names, so I guess that's uh that's it. There's not any way to find our uh, our field of that, unfortunately. Okay, Drone Invasion, Iron Crag, Swarm Shambler, Katartouche. Slaughter. Another pretty bad pack. Let's take Temple of Plenty, I guess. Yeah, if we don't draw our, our thing, our, our deck's kind of moopy. Uh, I mean, Sky is okay. Carnifax, demon? Spark Double, Responder, Banishing Light. Archive. Titanic Brawl. Warbriar's Blessing. All not really great. I mean, Archive's, like, fine. It doesn't really, like, do exactly what we're wanting, what we're trying to do. Banishing Light is, like, obviously just a fine card. Um, the dirty secret is that this card, the field isn't actually good in this cube. Hmm. Well, then uh, I guess that's my, my dirty little secret, I guess. All right. Uh, Banishing Light? Sure. Oh, boy. Um, we got Lance. We got a King of the Cosmos. Blue, blue, green. Eh. I guess it, like, mutates onto tokens and stuff, which is kind of cool, but I kind of want Temple of Mystery. I'm happy to table Prism or Ghidorah here. Temple's, like, perfectly on, it's on color. It just seems like it's what we want. Uh, Ancestral Blade. Release the dogs. Lull Mage. Goblin Rally. Honestly, your first escape card is typically pretty good. I think I'm pretty happy taking this, this, this card here. I think we need, we need spells, right? We have like five, ten lands. Yeah, we should probably need a few spells here. Bulls of Citadel, Roar of the Worm, Vastwood Fortification, Sandbar. I mean, Roar of the Worm, like, we are ramping. We're not like discarding it or anything, but. Um, later Sins. Thanks for your sub. Appreciate that. I guess we're roaring. Uh, Hinterland Harbor. Man, this is a blue-green pack. Jeez. We don't actually want any of these cards, but we'll take the land, I guess. We got a mana base, that's for sure. Marauder Conjecture returns an instant and then a sorcery. I don't think we really can use that super well. Um, Cutthroat. This thing flickers things. We have things you want to flicker. I guess, like, Fibble Thip. We have a few things we flicker. There's the 4 4 for 4, I guess. Uh, 
I mean, Enraptured is like a token maker for procession. It's a thing to flicker. It's a decent blocker. Sure. I'm always black lands. Like, Blood Crypt's pretty bad. It's like basically double off color, but... Tamer, resub, thanks so much. Happy Friday, Jim D in chat. Friday. You can even speed on the highway. You can't flicker fart noises. Target of a spell. You can flicker it. It's not with a spell. With a creature effect again. Um It's like I mean this card's kinda of fine, just like you know, as far as like decent values, we can play this thing. It's like the it's a. Uh... Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! So want like a, I guess this thing makes tokens. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, sure, I'll take this thing. It's a blocker it makes tokens. Archive tables, sure. I don't think our deck is very good. Um, <laughs> just gonna toss that one out there. Sure. Let's. I mean, proliferate. Hey, I mean, we'll play. We'll, we'll, we'll play this card. Just like a off, off named forest. Waiting for server. My favorite part of Magic Arena. All right, so let's uh, to Cobble Lands first. Let's start there. Synergy. Uh, we, we first like Field of the Dead. Um, not much support for it. There's no way to search for it. No Golos. No, uh, no anything. Um, we're like clearly playing blue, green, and white. Um, so the red, we, we're obviously playing like Steam Vents, Sulphur Falls, and a Mountain for free. We're not really like super on these red cards though. Like Outcast is pretty good, but like Fire Prophecy can just like leave. Fire Fire, we're not kicking it off a splash. We can cut that. Um, now we're at 25 cards. We have. Explore, Leafkin, Hedron. We also have some. We also have some lands here in our our spells. And Splendor Mare is not like super exciting, but I guess it's like fine. Um, we do have actually a lot of things to flicker. We've got all of our three drops flicker really well. Procession, Path, Path of Discovery. I guess we could like not play this card. Um, we have plenty of things to do with our mana. Shimi Amalgam. It's pretty cool we're playing this card too. This card's fun. Uh, Tender Shoot, Roar the Worm, Sifter. So we have 24, 24 spells here, but two of them are lands. So probably want to cut like one more card. I'm not sure how many lands we actually have to play though. Um, yeah, having all these black lands is kind of suck. Like, I think we're playing Water Grave like over a, over an island, just as like another unique land. Um, Contention, Contentious Plan doesn't do anything for us. Uh, yeah, so, a double white. I think this is fine. Like, we've got white sources. The card's, like, decently powerful. Um, it's fine. Like, I just don't, like... Let's look at our lands. Let's look at our lands. So, green cards. So, we've got, like, Field of the Dead, Field Passage, Mystery Harbor, Temple, Falls, Steam Vents, um, Temple. And we're clearly playing Temple of Mess. Right now we have to add seven basics. We'll play Temple over Plains and Water Game over an Island. Sure. That's five basics. And we need to, so we need to play like... Actually, we, should, we can play... Plains. Islands. Mountain. Like Forest Forest. Maybe play... Um, There's a Tinkerer's Cube on, uh, on Magic the Gathering Arena. Um... Maybe like don't play, not play a watery grave. Play another island. We are pretty light on white sources. Maybe we just don't want this card. It's just like too hard to cast. That's fine. All right, so um, play another island. It's two islands too far shouldn't really hurt us. And then we're gonna add probably that four four back in. Like escaping this is pretty reasonable. Just like as a mana sink later in the game, so that's fine. Sure. So, overall, I'm not thrilled. Ho-hum. Uh, but it's a deck. 
Um, it's a deck. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Our ho ho hum deck. How many green sources? It's a good amount, I think. Uh, we got one, two, three, Jim, four, five, five, six, Keep seven. Us the awesome content. It's only actually seven. What's up, what's up Freeze? Thanks for resub. Appreciate that. We should, we should add another, another forest. Um, prediction? Uh, I don't know what the prediction would even be. I don't know how many games I'm going to play. Um, oh, we, 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 we Fortification and Heldra. Right. That's very good. That's very good. This is good. I like this. This is great. All right, sure. We can do predictions. Who wants to do a prediction? First, watch this ad. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, before we start, prediction time. Will we get to seven wins? This name is not compliant with our content guidelines. What? What's wrong with will we get to seven wins? Somebody play a prank on me. That was weird. Okay. Uh, anyway, so yeah, predictions are open, my friends. Cast your bets. Place your bets, please. Will we get the seven wins of this deck? Yes or no? And the payout is proportional, just like a sports bet. So cast your votes, cast your votes. Well, I'll remind everyone the stream brought to you by Colas Apparel as well. Colasparrow.shop, promo code Jim 10, 10% off your order. Awesome shirts. I'm wearing them right now. Check it out. It's part of the Keeping It 100 line. Um, new pile driver uh, hoodies and stickers are available. New stickers in general. And um, check it. Check it out. Call us the parallel shop. All right. Let's go. Place your bets. Holy cow. That's a lot of a lot of haters. Look at these haters here. Haters. They see me playing. They hating. So what's uh, what's silence the haters right now? And we're going to get our seven wins. Easy game. Our deck's not that bad. All right. Come on. Get out of here with that, with that hate. All oh, you haters. They'll always be haters. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. 91% say no. 91%. That's insane. I guess it's more... It's actually not the... It's more the amount being bet. So right now, 50, 50K has been bet on no and 5K on yes. But there's actually 35 to 23 as far as people saying I'm going to do I'm gonna seven wins or not. So... Got some good odds here. Got some good odds. Seven wins is a lot. Yeah, but I'm awesome. So, like, there's always that, you know? Yeah, keep. Hands, hands insane. Let's go. Let's go. All right. It's, it's daytime. I can't wear those. Keeping. Swamp go. Steam vents. That's actually not bad. It makes our armor on tap, too. Uh, Temple of Malady. Temple of... Take my lucky month to help. Nice friend, I appreciate it. Keep that on top. You turn three ramp spell here. Sage Light Drifter. I am legend. It's a pay two. Little Leafkin Druid. Next turn we're going to Migration Bath and start setting up our path to discovery. Drana Liberator of Malakair. Flying first strike. It's coming up to a player, but if I have a counter on each attacking creature you control. I'm right, gonna get that later, whatever. Alright, so um We're casting the path here, right? Next time we can we can migration path into like path plus sage or path plus banishing banishing light. So we wanna get um I guess Forest Island. Hey Jim. Hey Jack. Mage, resub, rock, resub, thanks so much, appreciate it. So they can they can pump their their thing, which is whatever, sure. Nice big setup turn next turn. Nighthawk scavenger, the Nighthawk theme deck. Okay, uh, sure. I mean, we're gonna banishing light the Drana, and we'll just deal with this later, I guess. We do have a lot of mana. I mean, we can just block this thing. So yeah, we'll just play this untapped. Play this. 
Wait, never mind. I, I'm lying about playing things like that. I'm just making stuff up. It's alright. It's not a big deal. Best of one. Seven games. Seven, seven game wins is all we need. Alright, so we got a 10, which is a little low. Grave Breaker Llama. Winamp. Really whips the llama's ass. They're gonna get a card for their graveyard. And this is an enchantment. Nice Rex Age gym. But a beanstalk giant in their graveyard? That's kind of scary. Alright, well, we should like not die to the Nighthawk Scavenger. I think that's the biggest thing here. Um, do we scry first and then set up the, uh, the Explorer? Or we just explore first? Folks in chat are saying they like the set review. I appreciate that. For those who don't know, my full set review is up. Oh, that's a good card. The thing is, we, we're going to like not die to this Nighthawk Scavenger, though, realistically. Um, three and four. We're casting Sage and... All right, we can keep this. Um, yeah. Library. Things they are if our boom boom just kills them. You know, like Like we're gonna play this and we're gonna make a two a three three and then a three three and then a three three and then a three three. We're on a five turn clock in theory, so Order of Midnight. That's not good. It's another flyer. Alright, now we're in trouble. Agonizing remorse. Whatever. They even exile, so they can't use it for their uh, their Nighthawk Scavenger. All right, so we're just smashing here. Like, we get to we get to explore like over and over and over and over again. It's kind of cool too. So we just jam for a bunch. Nothing here is a uh, a sapperling, right? We got a fifteen. Play this bad boy. Explore. Fable Passage. Does that do anything? I guess not, right? Not really. I guess we can scry, sort of. Sure. That's true. I shouldn't put this card in the graveyard for Scavenger. Totally true. So, Dryad, Explore. Top card is Explore. Alright, put that in the graveyard. Uh, it's a source where it's fine. Put that in the graveyard. Now I have a 4-4. Four, four. So we're, like, pretty far ahead of the curve here. Um, back for more targeting Beanstalk Giant. <gasps> I don't like an uh-oh sound on my sound effect thing. That's, that's bad. Well, that's really good. So now our Dryad's dead. All right, now we're going to lose. That's fine. Um, Yeah. We're in trouble now. Go Sifter Worm. That'd be cool. Beanstalk Giant's pretty big. Oh, well, that's a land, not Sifter Worm. So um, this thing takes... Four to escape, and it would be a seven seven or an eight eight. All right, so attack with this. Just gotta take it, man. Man, Nighthawk Scavenger, it's dying to flyers. I don't know that much of a one deck either. Mm -hmm. Ruin just died to scavenger by itself, too. Kind of stinks. Just soloed us. We should have to deal with Flyer. Sifter Worm off top row, please. One Sifter Worm. Well, that's cool. It's pretty cohesive. Winamp. So they got Beanstalk just to reanimate it back for more. And we got Farika's spawn. Yeah, the deck's better than ours. The deck's pretty cool. And we draw a land land. Alright, so whatever. We draw a lot of lands there, too. That's fine. That's alright. That's fine. It's not a big deal. We can take our first loss. It's okay. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be worried either, you know? You shouldn't be worried either. We got this. No fear Shakespeare. No fear Shakespeare. Alright, folks. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, watch again on YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit that... Uh, button on YouTube. 
And you guys support me as a content creator, the best way to do that is to subscribe on Twitch or to join the membership button on YouTube. Five bucks a month, tons of perks. I just we, we just reorganized the Discord. It's awesome now. People are playing Commander in there, discussing magic and not magic and other games and fully reorganized and it's awesome. My, my Discord is by far the uh, the biggest perk to subscribe subscribing to me. And um, it's also other perks too. You can watch my VODs, bonus content on YouTube. Um, life is good. Life is good. Keep this. Splendor Bear would have been good last game, honestly. Soul Warden. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. So, uh, we got our, uh, our Rex Age. We'll probably get some Path to Discovery. Sure. I mean, we're not cycling. Are we cycling Splendor Bear? Let's see what they play. Let's see what they play. Hearing Eagle. I think I want Splendor Mare in play, so we're just gonna like let this happen. Yeah. Just play our Life Linker. Bashing Light. You draw land here in our all land deck. Basically, Bane Slayer Angel. What's up, JD? Hey, Jim, just popping by to say hello and thanks for the Christmas card. He just arrived all the way to Mexico. Awesome, my friend. Thanks so much. Yeah, the mail's not done, not too quick these days, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Sigil Sword of Valerian. Equip it. Get a 2 2 whenever you with, with vigilance. That's attacking. I just get eaten by my life linker, right? Uh, I'm just banishing like their eagle here. Is this not, eh, I, should probably, I should probably kill the sword. Oh, yeah, I, I have, I have Rex Age. Never mind. I'm being stupid. Um, yeah, we just need to like draw a land, I guess. Pretty good Rex Sage target. Sage seems quite good. Dawn of Hope. Yeah, Rex Sage seems awesome in this cube. Every card is like a, a, a silly like artifact or enchantment, so. Alright, um. This card's good, but very slow. We, uh, if they gain a life, we have to draw, pay two and draw a card, so we don't want to play a creature of this turn. We're just playing Migration Path anyway, so we're going to jam. Play Path. Thanks for following, uh, Oil and Arch. Appreciate that. Guess the Path. Just get a Mountain, and I guess an Island. Field of the Dead. Nowhere to be found. Nowhere. Soul Warden plus Donna Hope. Pretty good. Pretty good. I screwed up. I should have got a forest for... Oh, never mind. I'm lying. I'm thinking of Palaka Worm. Um, so next time we can, like, archive Path to Discovery. Set up for a nice fat Sifter Worm. Start getting our, our Explorers on. Sure. We're laying some beats, too. Warden, make it 5-5 five, five token. Okay. Hey, out of our payoffs for being multi-landed. Um, okay. Sky Tether gives it Defender and loses flying. Can't really do that. Um, this thing's pretty big. It's also saying we can't do multiple things this turn. I would love to play uh, Amalgam and Banishing Light or something like that. We play the Archive and just like play the Banishing Light. Just kind of get it over with, I guess. Probably just do that. Also, there's no downside here. Where if they kill the Banishing Light, we get blown out, so... We'll get it in. So now we have uh, we have eight mana for next turn, so we can go path into amalgam. Awakened amalgam. Raise your hand in chat if you ever cast this card before. Cause I I forgot it existed. Raise your hand in chat if you ever cast this card before. Dovin, Grand it's Arbiter. To be a this thing makes flyers and pays on it. Sure. Mines. <laughs> Make a two two, gain a life, draw a card. Yeah, it's definitely um. Definitely a tinker, tinkery cube. A lot of tinkers going on. Uh, hey, we did it! Oh, it's we um, we have a paired land though, so it's not, it's not actually good yet. But it makes our amalgam better, which is kind of cool. And if you path the discovery, we can like maybe do something with it, right? It's a path and amalgam. Sure, the path. Is there a reason to play field at first? I don't think so. Uh, 
whatever. Kill it well. And these will both attack the Dovins to get rid of it. Getting life here is pretty clutch. Just like not dying. Rock says, I cast it as a 4 mana 2 2 at the pre release. Impressive. Most impressive. The Mirari Conjecture. Returning an instant. There are no. Oh, there's a, a Warden Warrant. That's pretty good. And we're going to play Tender Shit Dry next turn, so. And we're going to start exploring multiple times. We have Sifter Worm lined up too, so. We got some nice ones lined up here. Some life to gain, things to do, people to see. All right, so tender shoot. Do we tender shoot or we do sifter worm? Then we'll have to scry three. Then we'll talk about your library. You can lay up to his mana cost. So I can scry first, then put a land. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. So if we tender shoot versus soul warden is pretty annoying. They can draw a lot of cards off that, but we're also just like trying to kill them. But they can warrant stuff too. Um, if we tender shoot, hmm. yeah, sifter worm could set up field for sure. This soul warden's gonna be a real pain. I think we we sifter worm. If we hit a land, can we, can we do anything else too? No, but... Let's jam. Let's jam first. We're going to Sifter Worm. It's a 7-7 seven, seven Trample. They can obviously Warden here, but that's, that's totally fine, I think. Why attack? They can Conjecture it back. Conjecture back what? Let's return a sorcery. They have no sorceries. So we're going to block and block. Soul Warden is blocking. We like that. We like that. We're just going to let it happen, too. That's a little, a little sketch. Maybe really, well, they want to fly really bad or they have a counter spell. Um, we're going to Sifter Worm. Counter me. No. Oh, uh, it auto stacked it. That's annoying. Uh, I guess we'll. What does Sifter Worm do? <laughs> Okay, um, I guess we want this. Uh, sure. I want the land, too. I can cast your first spell each turn. That's actually perfect. So yeah, I, I, I could have stacked with the path and the Sifter Worm how I wanted to if I if I had, like, done it properly, but I just it did it automatically, which is whatever. It's not a big deal. Split cards, an instant, and a sorcery. Oh, sure, you're right. That is that is totally correct. Um, Weight of memory, draw three, we mill three, but I just put those cards there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, sure. Now they can, I mean, they can copy and make four fours. They're just, they're just like dead, honestly. And now we have, we have Field of the Dead too. Oh man, we're doing it. We are doing it. Uh, so we're gonna jam. I put the land first, I guess. Imagine they're blocking it, though. No. All right, I think it's not playing the land. I mean, the thing is, like, now we're going to put a million tokens in play. So, like, great, you know? They go. Make another 3 3. They, have, they basically like have to cast Wrath this turn. And if they do, we just have to get a bit of in play and a fetch land. So. There are no Wraths in the whole cube? Wow. Wrathless. Con! Con! Blink of an eye. Yeah, okay, sure. So if I bounce this and so they're just gonna die, like, 
the young and the wrathless. <laughs> What's up, Gary? Well, thanks for the for that. All right, so uh, yeah, I mean, you're still really dead. Unless you have more things you want to do. Splendor Bear game, like 20 life this game. Yeah, I agree. It's Bane Slayer. The lifelink's good, you know? That's why I always like the lifelink bears in Limited. You know, like, if you're in a spot where, like, you're just kind of racing, it's just, like, insanely good. You might just trade, you might just trade with me, you know, whatever, but. Path of Discovery. This cube's amusing. I never like the, the variety in cubes, for sure. It's fun playing different cubes. What's everyone's favorite cube? Talk to me. YouTube folks in the comments, Twitch folks in the chat. What's everyone's favorite cube? Anointed Procession. We have that card. You're just dead, though. You're, like, super dead. There's no living for you. You are 100% dead. I don't have to do anything. Just back. You're dead. So you get nothing. You lose. Raph says, I love mine, but I never get to play it. Mood. Mood. For sure. All right, 101. We got this. Gotta get seven wins. Gotta prove the haters wrong. Gotta prove the haters wrong. I think Vintage Cube is the, uh, was the, uh, I think Power in Cubes is like, you know, incorrect in the like full on theory sense. It's fun, but like, I think like the, the ideal cube does not have power, but it's fun sometimes. It's fun sometimes. All right, let's go. Land, 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 land. And payoffs. Land and payoffs, we're keeping. Mountain go, sure. Cool mystery? Gonna, gonna cast his Hedron, I think. Um, This is an untapped land. Right now we're playing Hedron on two. Alerios tap land on three, and then Tender Shoot on four. We need a land for that? We do. You can keep this. Yeah, the odds here are insane. Anyone who didn't pick, uh, didn't pick yes is insane. Like, there's no way I'm, 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 I'm nine to one to not get seven wins, you know? Like, wait, is there, is there like a, like a mono red deck in this cube? How is Viashano Pyromancer a tinker card? This is a, uh, you're dead card, right? Is that, is that how it goes? Right? Probably maybe. Spellboard's are weird. That card's cool. Right, um, and now we're playing. Ooh, that's pretty good too. But this is better. So let's play this at a tap land. Say go. Tender shoot next turn. Sifter worm is where we really want to be. That's the uh, the super exciting one. It's a wizard. Flicker deck, yeah. Line orb. That card's good, but does not fit our curve at all. Uh, maybe ship it. Maybe we want to draw lands and cast Sifter Worm on turn four or, five, or whatever, five, six, whatever the hell we can cast it. Direct damage synergy. The synergy is my burn spell and your life total. Moment of the Forge, tilt. Sure. Just a nice two for one. This card's, like, this card's like fine. Scorch Spitter? Okay. I mean, our cards are lining up pretty well here. Like, the Eternal's also pretty good too, but so is our, our Dryad. Just gonna make a blocker. Now we have multiple blockers for their board. We gotta not die to this, this weird or burn spells. We have Sifter Worm too, though, so... We can just, like, Tender Shoot here and say go. We could also Aven Eternal and then play, like, a Tap Land. But I don't think we need to do that. And this Fortification might actually be good. So let's just play this. Play Tender Shoot, say go. Make a token. I'll say a Shock. But if Shock's the Tinkerer's Cube, I'll be real mad, so. We have a 1-1 one, one to block the 1-1. 2-3 to block the 2-1 two, the two, or whatever, vice versa. And the 3-3 three, three will get us. They only have two cards left. It's all about Sifter Worm. Electro Dominance. So, like a... Oh my god! Kill my thing and play a Planeswalker? Than that was insane. Basically um, anything. They can flash back... Dominance, too? That's pretty sick. Uh... Caldheim early access is uh, going to be on 
Boom. 10 new brews next Wednesday. Check it. Block it all the action. What's happening? Huh? What's happening? Do you know? Do you know what's happening? No. All right, so we're gonna block uh, here and here and take one. All right, that was uh, not a good turn for us, that's for sure. Bass with fortification, even eternal. We can't even like kill Chandra. We're like way off of that. They can flash back the fireball for three or four next turns at the end of the world. Um, we have double green. We have four, five, six lands. Yeah, we just put the even in here. Just play this and say go with the, with the fortification up. We could like take a shot at Chandra with with the enraptured, so we can kill it next turn. Yeah, I don't hate that actually. Maybe look at first game and double block here. That would be insane. Do it, you coward. I tried. I tried. I'm telling Mother Ludi on you. So just there you go. Got an army of blockers. Um, keep this thing alive. We could pump things if we need to. So this is like okay. It's been you know it could be worse. Sifter worm is freaking huge. Uh, there's always that. They're gonna minus it. Wow. But the thing is, will they try and overkill or do? Like, wow, they're gonna overkill. What? What? Yeah. What? Inconceivable. Why are they doing overshooting it for three? Why would they do that? That's so mean. Tapping all your lands for no reason. All right, that's bad. So, uh, can't save it with our fortification, which kind of sucks. We can, uh... What? They drew a spell, too? That's why they did it. That's why they did it. Oh, God. We're in trouble. All right. Um, all right, so you can block here. And we kind of have to block the, the weird. We just can't take nine here. We'll block here and save our, our Hedron. And then cast the, uh, Sifter Worm. So, yeah, block like this. Cast this here. Well, 15 months so many white people watch. Appreciate all the content. Pat, I appreciate you. Thanks so much. Nice draw, Sky Tether, for the Spellgorger weird. Um, so we're going to get uh, the land we don't have here, Forest. Play Sifter Worm. And just hope it's good enough. Honestly, like, they have no cards left. So we need a nice gain. I'll gain five here and draw some spells. Um, Amalgam is good. Archive is honestly fine. Just a draw two. So this is cool. We can do this. So, gain four. Now I have a 7-7 seven, seven in play. And say go. And just don't draw, like, crash through into Manamorphose, into Rite of Flame, into Wheel of Fortune, into, uh... Into, uh... <laughs> Act of Treason would be pretty bad for us. That would be pretty bad. Oh, no, looks like we're good. All right, so... Obviously, making this into a, a ground blocker isn't really great. It is really huge, but we're about to play a six-six on defense. Do we send the worm? We gotta send the worm. We gotta, we gotta end this game, right? All right. Play the amalgam. Do I tether the weird or no? Like, what else are we doing with it? You know. This will be attack. If I tether it, it just becomes a, a blocker for my, my worm, but it does stop them from attacking with it. We're at the point that we're like, we're, I'm going to attacking them back for more. Let me just, this is fine. Um, Next turn, we can archive and draw off of it. I'm just going to say, yeah. I'm not always scared of the weird. Just like forward, sure. Awakened Amalgam. I am very happy these cards in my deck. They top-bottomed, which is not great for us. Um, okay, Literal Shock is in the cube, in case you were wondering. Literal Shock is in the cube. Now nah, I'm regretting my choice to not Sky Tether. Yeah, I guess with them scrying, maybe I wanted to Tether. Oh my god, they just rattled off. They rattled off Runner Runner from us, folks. We're dead. Unbelievable. 
Yeah, well, with the scry, we should we should have cast it. We should have cast it for sure. Because like they're they're like definitely drawing a good card next turn. So like why let them do this to us? Just like have like the perfect two cards to kind of really get us. You know. They're gonna leave back one creature. So if we can draw a removal spell, we win. We don't have many of those. Uh, and this block's here. This block's here. We take two, three, four. It's not that bad. Um, all right, so take four. Go to five. We'll sit there when play too. I mean, now now the archive feels pretty bad. It's just like just this lame archive we're not gonna really use for a while. But we can uh, we can just like sifter worm tether this thing and just like hope they can't kill us basically. Don't draw a braid, you know. Now we, they they can get through for three. If they can deal two extra damage to us, we're dead. Or they can kill this, we're dead. But I mean, what are we gonna do? We gotta close the game out. So. If we survive a turn, we have to untap attack with Sifter Worm again, and now we're in great shape because they're just dead on board and they got like chump block and stuff, so. Um, okay. That's pretty aggressive. That could be bad for us. Visionary. Um this be visionary. We can draw two or visionary. Let me draw two actually. So we can always visionary after, but like we can draw a you know, four drop here. We have two shots at it, so land banishing light. I mean, now they have a seven seven on defense. Huh. I mean, I mean they're dead. They don't have anything. But like, I guess I guess what could they have, right? At this point, yeah, we'll just go for it. So we're gonna banishing light the the weird, which is kind of awkward, but sure. All right. I mean, I don't know what they could have that can kill things. I guess so. Maybe we just send the uh, the sifter worm. How eh, simple. Whatever. What do you got? I mean, what, what what could you have here that wouldn't have like killed me last turn and also survives? Nothing. That's what I'm talking about. Game. Blouses. All you haters. After it was all over. Haters. Coming for you. Two and one. We keep this pace. We will. Uh, we will. Get this, I mean, maybe get seven wins. Depends on how we do, how, how we distribute our wins and losses. Whatever, doesn't matter. We don't do math here. No! We don't do math. That's not how we do things. That's not how we do things. Uh, this ant's freaking great. Hedron to the rescue here. Explore. I can't wait to cast Rashimi. Or Rashmi, Rashimi. I mean, I had eyes and stuff. Um. Uh, Keep. Sure. So, Tangled Veil for our Field of the Dead, uh, whatever that artifact is called, deck. Next up is Land Explore Temple. It's a guarantee a turn three Shurishimi. Roar of the Worm? Cool. Explore plus Scrylands are pretty good. Pretty good. Are you going to counter my Explore? Keith, new sub. What's your name? Where from? Thanks so much. Appreciate that. Love my new subs. All new subs. Make sure you join the Discord, all right? The Discord is the bomb. I don't think Sky Tether is great in our deck. Honestly. Dak Faden. I saw you this morning, my friend. When I was recording my Cool Stuff video, and I played some Vintage. Vintage on Monday for my Cool Stuff video. Look for that one, of course. Let me keep this, honestly. Let me make our land drops. Panda, panda. Happy Friday, Jim. Thanks, my friend. Winged words. So divination. All right. Well, we are gonna play our Rashmi and start cascading stuff. So. 
If you cast a spell, remove top card of your library, and you cascade it, or it goes into your hand. So if it's if it's a, a spell, it's less than the mana cost of the spell that you cast. You can just cascade into it. Otherwise, you just draw it. No. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I was really excited about that. I was kind of pumped. I was looking forward to it. I was going to have a good time. It's alright. Draw a land, we can start playing some 6-6 six, six worms. Just beating the crap out of our opponent for being so rude to us. Rude. How is Faithful End a, a, a tinkery card? Serendipifree? Yeah, whatever. Whatever. One fat wormy boy. Don't you counter us, I swear. I swear. Don't you counter us, I swear. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Inconceivable! Here comes the putter toss. Keith! Plants is 94. Wrote the song back in 9 to 4. Every card is Recoil. Awesome. Thanks, Keith. Appreciate it. Yeah, whatever. Cast it again next turn, right? Cheaper, better, funner. Dawn Treader Elk? Five? What was that? Yeah, it's this creepy Ashiok sleeves. Um, all right. I mean, like, let's be jam first. This is definitely getting countered. Whatever. It's basically the most efficient Himitarok of all time. No, it resolved. All right, cool. Dawn Treader Elk? Okay. I mean, here are my cards. This is my Bird Zombie Warrior Army Worm. Into the Royal Kicked. That is mad rude. Mad rude. Alright, well, let's, um, like draw something that is useful. I right, still so do $5 deck techs. Good try, my friend. They're $10 deck techs. I see you. I see you. Yes, I do. $10 deck techs are a thing. $10, some ear deck list, and I'll talk about it on stream for five minutes to give you my, my expert level opinion. Very, very useful. Oh, and uh, a new format's coming around. Alright, so, uh, migration path. I think we're interested in cycling here. I don't really want to get more lands out of my deck, so let's tap two lands and cycle. And draw a spell. Forest. So obviously if they have a spell here, they can like eat my attackers, which kind of sucks. Let's make him cast it though. Attack our elk. Am I banishing like the Serendipa free? We need to draw like a spell or two, like something big. Sky tether I guess sky tethering the Serendipa Free is kinda cool actually. Just sits there and pings them. Alright, player spell, what do you got? You gonna kill my tutu? I don't like really care if they, they kill my tutu, so. Lightning axe pushing a mountain? Wow. That's great. That's another, another hand to rock. Alright, well we're gonna sacrifice this. We're going to get a the only one of the only basics we have left. We've got planes. And then we're gonna play a land. We're gonna do Sky Tether, the Serendiba Freet, aka Build Your Own Sulfuric Vortex. And counter is too. So my opponent's just like a prowessy aggro deck. Neutralize. That's a aggro neutralize. Yeah, sure. Like Definitely the, one of the worst cards in my entire deck, and they just used a three mana hard counter on it. Oh, that's bad. All right, now we're in trouble. All right. 
We need to draw a spell that matters. That's not the worst, honestly. Um... Splendor Mare to the rescue. Wrench. They're applying it for a power a prowess trigger, sure. They turn their quench into plus one plus one to their door at the perfect pet, sure. Door of the Explorer here. This is a big turn. No spell is good. Now this is a big turn. We get to tap attack with this and play a spell. Nope, just a land. Gain three. Gain three life. Gain three life. Where's Field of the Dead? Oh god, they've got a shock. Oh god, don't do it. Unbelievable. Can you believe this? Can y'all believe this? I should have played this probably if I got a field. Unbelievable. Literally shock. Literally shock. Archive. Okay. Um, I was not should have played that. Ah, uh, no, I might not get my field, so. That was stupid, I screwed up. I can't. I mean, like, we're like. Uh, we don't have any ways to beat this flyer anymore, unfortunately, so. We're running a little light. <laughs> it's big. It's big. Like, I don't know what we're drawing to uh, to beat the flyer. We lost our lifelinker, lost both of our removal spells, we lost our other flyer. We're just gonna die to it in two turns. We just can't do anything about it. If we were at, like eight life or nine life, maybe. What? Draw land for one turn, you know? Is that possible? Could you do that? Could you help me out a little bit? Could you help me out a little bit, opponent? And not having, not having removal. Obviously, our deck wants to play our removal spells. There aren't that many, apparently, in this cube. We didn't really realize that going in. Yeah, Sifter Worm is our, our best draw, for sure. Even then, though. Um, oh! Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh, my God! Um, let's, uh, let's see here. Help our scries out. Try to find a... Now we got to find a card that costs five or more. To uh, to gain life to survive. The problem is it costs five or more, but it doesn't really like help us survive. Um, Ray, fifteen bucks. Your lucky YDL is closed, winking face. Somehow, have gotten to diamond with this deck tech with an extra five dollars calls you awesome. Thanks, Ray. I appreciate that. Put your list in chat. I'll do it after, after, after the draft, alright? Scry what you don't want. Um, they should have two cards. I think we're screwed either way. I don't know if we have, is there any card in my deck that costs more than five? I don't think there is. Honestly. We're going to leave this here. We're going to attack. Thanks, Ray. That's a boom boom. That's a boom boom. Four mana eight eight. Awakened amalgam. This was the plant, the card that was gonna make Field of the Dead actually good. Uh, a little late on this one. It's not so like. Next turn, they attack me to one, and then I untap, and like I possibly, I can possibly kill them. Yeah, you're right. I think you're all right. I, I should have, I should have. I mean, the thing is, like, I scryed first, try and guarantee we hit a card that costs five so we can live, but now I don't, I don't want to draw it. But yeah, outcast one turn too late. That sucks. It's like a rough matchup. It's just like all flying creatures and counter spells. Against our like rampy groundy deck, wow, they, have, they haven't they didn't, they didn't draw a single spell to kill us. I mean, they have all ends and they're dead, which have lethal on board, so that's kind of cool. Oh my god, so you're telling me there's a chance?
No. All right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Who's going to be worried? Two and two. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. All right. We are the the theme deck for for lands. And it's going to be fine. It's going to be totally fine. Hey, uh, Ray, why is Temple of Malady in your deck? I'm just glancing at it right now. Oh, you're playing Mythos. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Um, where's your field? Let's keep. Keep this. Play four Hedron's Held Held Land. Pippany. Just gotta, I just can't lose again. Back's against the wall, you know? I've been in this spot before. I've been in this spot before. I can do this. All right. Uh, that was a good draw. Now you don't need to play that. Sure. Temple Silence. Banishing Light. We've been struggling with not removing things, so we're going to keep that. Even though it's not like ideal right now. Um, all right. So we're going to try out the old uh, Leafkin Druid. Can I just play Hedron Tab later with the land if we need to? Cycle Sandbar, sure. What? Nightmares of a palace. You milled four spells. Awesome. I guess. Temple of Plenty. Sure. I mean, like, it's gonna mill more cards we can just like attack it with our visionary and stuff yeah whatever this is fun i guess i want to scry first Sell out with me tonight thank thanks we appreciate that um yeah because obviously they're gonna mill the card anyway so we'll see if we want it or not top card is a silver falls i think i want that actually it's a land for field plus it's also a red source for our outcast too so all right we're making moves we're making moves Stone, sure. Alright, I mean, now we can cast Elk and. We can't, can't, can't cast this yet. Um, Alright, let's attack Ashiok, I guess. Let's see what happens. Warrant. We're gonna put it on top of my deck. Thereby making it harder for me to deck. Sure. Um, let's play our cards, I guess. Can't search, because actually I can play. There was Sifter Worm, it kind of sucks. I mean, we're almost there on Dragon Master Outcast. We can just kill this Ashiok. We can get a land and Field of the Dead and, and Outcast and stuff. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so um, let's just... We're playing uh, the old Fibskis. Let's just play this first, I guess, see what's up. Uh, I was... My blue source is also my red source. Awkward. Mega awkward. Um, yeah, I screwed up. Yeah, I screwed up. What are you gonna do? I mean, we just play this and say go. I think we're in like pretty good shape this game. We only have 15 cards left, but it's probably enough. They've milled. We have uh, a few basics left, actually. Yeah, mill cards are obviously stupid and limited and kind of uh, kind of not fun. But all right, well now we're up to Field of the Dead, Archive, sure. 
play islands, attack. My archive. Probably just draw to you, honestly. Actually, am I a deck? No, nah, that's fine. Eternal. Sure. I mean, actually, let's play the outcast. We have three cards left and a lot of mana. Didn't say please. Mill three cards. Sure. Milled Roar of the Worm! Finish, thanks to Resub, appreciate that. Also, thanks to the folks who are contributing to the uh, the channel points to bump the stream up. You can use your channel points to help, help promote the stream, which is awesome. Good thing to use it on. We have eight cards left. Yeah, like, all the mill cards are definitely just not very fun in 40 card formats. It's okay, though. It's okay. I mean, we're making zombies, we're playing this thing next turn. Uh, we are playing... Roar the Worm flashback. We're 25% of the way there on the boost. I don't know how you do it exactly. It's a brand, it's a brand new thing. It's a brand new thing. But uh, right now it's uh it's going great. You're all are awesome. Alright. Um Jam. Lockmare Serpent. Should do a bloody ring this, right? Yeah, sure. Oblivion ring. We can't roar the worm and play the uh, thingy, so... Roar the worm. We have seven cards in our deck. Top card is Anointed Procession. Hello! Kazmina, Enigmatic, Mentor. Cause. Prince! New sub. What's in your way from thanks? I must appreciate that. Alright, I mean, like, we're just, like, trying to kill him. How about a little, uh, this is a combo term. This is nice. We're gonna first fire and, uh, attack them. Just fire in. Did I bother attacking Kazmina? I don't think so. Just attack them. Soaring Thought Thief? That's a problem. Like, a pretty big problem, actually. Um, we only have six cards in our deck. This is going to mill two. We are making, like, you know, some, some strides here, for sure. Oh, uh, that's actually hilarious. Okay, sure. So, the way a mass works, the copy comes in as a zero, zero, and won't actually get a counter on it, so it doesn't actually matter. Which is... Kind of hilarious, but two zombies. So they go. So we might win with. At the, I think we're poised to win with zero cards currently. Um, they're gonna attack mill two. We draw a card. They attack mill two. We draw a card. We kill them. So we have like two turns to win. They discarded Croxa in their island island glacial fortress deck. Uh, okay, sure. I guess you say so. Mill two. Alright. I can block. They put one more card in my graveyard there, just dies, but I'm not gonna block. There's no point in blocking. My life is irrelevant. That's not a very nice thing to say. What? Rex Sage doesn't even do anything. Oh my god. Can you stop? Can you just leave me alone? Just leave me alone. Stop bothering me. God. How do you have every piece? Just have everything. I'm just playing just naked. We gotta win. We have three cards left. God, how do you have it all? Sweltering Sons? Uh, 
black, black, red, red. They can Croxa here, um, which is problematic, I suppose. I'll return. I know we have left in our deck. Vantress Gargoyle? Oh my god. Why couldn't we have, why couldn't they have milled this? You know? Why couldn't like why, why could uh, God damn it. Escaping Karakse with not only two islands, but also a glacial fortress. They were, just, they were just dead, they were showing me a lot. Alright. Alright. What can I say? The haters win. The hate I can't win every time. The haters win. Here's your payout. Here you go, you filthy haters. There's your payout. You enjoy your money. And I hope you I hope you choke on it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You, you enjoy your channel points, alright? Use them use them to help me uh help me to pump the thing, alright? Alright, so um that's it for uh for Tinkerer's Cube. It's amusing, amusing. It was kind of fun. Um, we got more magic to play though. We're gonna play a little standard, a little stork. We got a fry, and uh, we got some gems and some gold. We did it. We did it. YouTube folks, like, comment, subscribe. I love y'all. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.